Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick introduction on how to use Packet Tracer. So we've got it installed on this computer already. I can just go and look for uh, Packet Tracer. There it is as my app. I can run it now. It's the first time I've run it since I've logged in. So this latest version 7.2 requires you to log in each time you start a new session. So I've got, if you go for guest login, it's fine. It is restricted what you can do. So we're going to stay on the user login page uh, put my username and password in and this is the same one you use to log into the Cisco site so we go I've logged in and I've now got a blank uh, packet tracer file obviously with no no components in that's one way to open it if you want to start designing something from scratch the other way you may open it is you may have access to a packet tracer file so I've got one here on my desktop uh, this is um, actually a zip file it could be a PKT or PK or a PKZ and it matters not they're subtly different but either way when you click on one again if it's the first time you've run it since you've logged in you will have to uh, log into Packet Tracer but obviously now it's just opened up directly and it's opened up with obviously the file pre-configured for me uh, to look at and do something with it may have some notes with it if it's a Packet Tracer uh, activity or a zip file and it may actually require me to do things and automatically mark them as a specific activity file. So those are all the different ways that we can log into Packet Tracer. Okay, so let's get back to our blank screen. What we'll go is up here, do File New. We don't want to save what we're doing at the moment, so I'll say no to that and I get back to my blank desktop. So what I can do is I can drag all the devices up onto here that I want to use and connect together. How do I do them? I select them from all the various menu options down at the bottom so where do we start well we start down here on the left hand side on the top row you'll see here this first box that's already highlighted are all the network devices the second one along are all the end devices if I click on that these are end devices third section are components which are all to do with IOT and the fourth section is cables and those are the main ones you're going to use now you may have noticed as I was clicking on those four options all the things underneath were also changing. So let's go back to the beginning. So under network devices, it's given me the option of routers, which is the first section, then switches, then hubs, wireless devices, and then some other bits as well. And again, as I've selected these on the very bottom row, you may have noticed that the devices here in this central device section are also changing. And this is where we drag things from. So if I want to build a basic network, I might go to end devices and the first box down there is end devices and I select a PC so I can click on the PC and I can drag it up onto the screen. I can click on the laptop and I can drag it up onto the screen and I can click on a wireless device and I can drag that up onto the screen. So I've got my devices there. If I now want to connect them to something, I'm going to go to my network devices I'm going to come down here and um, I could put them all into a switch but what I'm going to do is have a look at either the hubs no I don't want that one I'm going to come and look at these wireless devices and I'm going to select this device here WIT300N and I'm going to do that so I've now got my basic four network devices and you can see already there something is happening okay let's just go back to our end devices and we'll go for PCs now you'll notice like we said we can drag a PC but if I want lots of them I've got to keep dragging them I can actually press shift and click the PC and that's now going to place one PC wherever I want however if I hit control and click on the PC I can now place as many of those PCs as I want all over the place so I've got PCs selected there and if I want to stop doing that then I just go and click on it again so that's a way to copy up multiple PCs now I've made a bit of a mess on my desktop there um, I'm just gonna I'll probably leave a couple of PCs up there the rest of these I want to get rid of now I'm going to be quite careful notice at the moment this one is slightly grayed I've actually selected this device so I'm just going to be careful because I'm going to come up to the delete option here and what the delete option does is because I've got that device selected if I click on it it gives me the option to delete the thing I've actually highlighted I'm going to say no to that and notice it now gives me a little cross as a cursor this is a delete cursor and I can go and just get rid of all the things that I want by clicking on them be really careful now because you tend to delete everything forget that you've still got the delete and now go start deleting your network 
once you've deleted what you want you need to come off the delete cursor and go back to the selection cursor and there we go I've got my selection cursor back so basically that's how we can drag things up onto the desktop and we can delete them or we can replicate them no matter what they are having got our network now we can look at it we can click on any of the devices and by default it comes up in the physical tab which is this option here at the top and you can see physically what the device looks like uh, devices are controllable you can see there's a little on off switch I can switch it on and off uh, and some devices you can actually customize them you can see that this has got a network interface card in here uh, and I could swap that out I'm not going to do that with the PC but what I'm going to do is go down to the laptop here you can see on the side it's got a network interface card in here I'm going to switch the PC off unplug the network interface card and I'm going to put a wireless card into the PC into the laptop sorry and switch it back on so I've got that physical view of these devices that's now the laptop is now connected and if I look at my router I can zoom in just so I can see the ports a bit better and this is typical of most home routers with four LAN connections here and one wide area network connection so those are my physical views if I now want to cable these two devices up just like I said before, I come down to the cables here and go along. I've got to know which cable to select and it's a copper straight through or a Cat 5e cable. I select the device. It's meant to look like a little RJ45 on the end. Click where you want to plug one end in and it will show you all the various options of where you can plug things in. Obviously it's between the fast ethernet and similarly here it's over to one of the ethernet networks. And cable again. I could have selected that with control because I had a few of these to do and you can see Ethernet 1 has gone now because it's been used up and I've got Ethernet 2. So that's the basic way we build a network. If we've done our cabling wrong we can come and get the cursor here, the delete cursor and you can delete cabling and then you can just go and pick up the right cable and put it in. Obviously I'm just going to put the same one back in. And that's basically all you need to know to be able to build your network initially.